opponent like this should be easy. Switch to Crystal Spear! Is that statue of the Now I've seen everything! We did it. As impressive as always. Ah, you're at least to me. Yeah! And to me! Now where was I? I'll heal you all! Tiger Blade! Panther Field! I owe you all! Thanks, Shia. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll do better. Every shield you own that big? Here. You want to try holding it? Ugh. How do you even walk with this thing? No choice. Glacial spear. Pierce Look shot. Like moss is the flame! I'll use the power of the rain! This one's Our gonna be tough! Tiger Blade! Dance in the wind! Feel! Not one more! Get the wind! Fearing Gale! We did it! As impressive as always. Ah, here I hope there was improvement. No, I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Sion actually look like you. Let's turn the tables on it. There are still more left. Damn it! Right, 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 Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? Without getting your hands dirty. Dramatic, but fair. This should be easy. Look sharp! Dragon Slug! Try this! Botan Slug! Reload! We can't keep up with the wall! Let's get you off! I thought you were more defensive than mine. Defense via threat elimination. So the best defense is good offense. Mega Ray! 
A comfortable win. Power of yours is really something. I could say the same. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess... maybe. I, I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. 
You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. That Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> this is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. The first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Renwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. If any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> My battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into.
Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. I think it's safe to rest here now. Something. Looks like we got another reward. I didn't realize that so many still remained. Dan and Owls truly are majestic indeed. I thought the Dan and Owls had all but died out myself. That's what I get for making assumptions. Just so we're clear, this place is supposed to be a secret. Yes, I'm aware. Places like these should be kept out of the public eye. It's a pity, though. With proper training, they could be made into a magnificent chorus. <laughs> what are they hooting about now? Alvin and Xion can interpret for us, right? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, it was just a lucky guess last time. Yeah? Maybe you'll be lucky twice. Go on, give it a shot. Uh, really? Well, if you say so. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to them. Are they really up to the task? <sighs> what do you mean? You're the one who put them in charge. <laughs> It's my responsibility to protect our friends. Stop trying to take everything upon yourself. This is what the owls are saying? Of, of course. course. Uh... I must say, though, we've found quite a number of owls. It's a testament to how much you care for Hoodle, Rinwell. Hmm. I wonder which branch Hoodle will perch on. Rinwell? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Well, come on. The perches are only half filled. We've got to find the rest of the owls.
All right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... Do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself. But then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Ah, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us, too? Dad. Hey, chin up! This is your hometown! Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... <sighs> I should have been here. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? 
Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. There's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm. Hmm? All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess... <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Right. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. <laughs> Everything okay with Hoodle, Renwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! <laughs> Ow, lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Looks like we made it here in one piece. It's quite hot here. The climate. I won't forgive you! Here I come! No escape! Barely a blip on our radar. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. So this path is supposed to take us out to Bird Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. reach the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship, and fast! Necessary when creating weaponry. I'll keep my now. Now. See what I can right do. Here. I got it. A charge like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. You have to aim for the bright area on their back. Right. 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 
This must be the work of Providence. Prob what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit... Bit of an exaggeration, though. Plants grow instantly? <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. This will be a delicious piece of cake! It's time! Aw, too bad! Look sharp! Three blender! Three blender! Double seed effect! You're mine! Flying free! I am the Doing it with my frozen hammer! Nicely done! All that is for you! all mine! Try this! Explosive ring! Barely a blip on our radar. It out there. My face is starting to sting, and my throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some too, Shion? Oh, what? Little help! Armor won't save you! Go in! 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 Go in!
Even worse. Is this a joke? Wait, now you see what I can do. do. I'm only getting started. Throw your floor like moss to the flame. Uh -huh. The bigger they are, the higher they fall. Mega ray. Go for the weak point. I'm gone. This one keeps no, charging us. That's what my shield's for. Back. Get behind me. Good. I'll leave it to you. Small fry. The design of it. This equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Must be smiling. Out of our way. I can carve through armor. Mega ray. Dragon swarm. Can't be stopped. Storm. Long Explosive ray. Your mind! Blue escape! We did it! As impressive as always. Oh, 
Here I hope there was some food. No, I, I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Tion actually look better. Try this! Tiger Blade! They're all coming after me! I'm coming, Redwell. I'm not scared. I'm totally fine. Stronger. This bridge will hold itself together, right? Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. Which one is it? No choice. Let me know if you need healing. This one's mine. Dragon Swarm! Lightning Orb! Uh -huh. You wanna play? Oh, no. We've turned the tables on them. There are still no more left. Front. Right. No what time to hold back. Thanks. Raging Storm! More with that face drop! Never! Back into the play! That's it! This well! Double Demon Fang! Do it! Very well! Frozen! Hammer! Nicely done! All thanks to you. than before. Don't worry, I've got plenty to go around. Sleep now, and I'll be fine. 
where you come up with those moves. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side, huh? It's crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Espec I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them can... on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds.
What the hell is that thing? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy... We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Here it comes! Focus! On your toes, everyone! Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared! Focus up before we become that thing's lunch! It's summoning Zoogles? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it! Let's get you all tucked away! Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll be there. I don't know what I'd do without you. Perhaps now isn't the time? I really do. Try this! Explosive ring! Searing Gale! Now, while it's reeling! Take it down! Here I come! Yes, we're we're 
Demon Fight! It's over! We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Just watch and learn. That's enough. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Am I improving? Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. Hey, is that it over there?
I'm impr- Impressed how well ba balanced this thing is. Hey, look! We've got way more animals! I never imagined Law would have a knack for husbandry. Makes sense since they're on the same wavelength. Did you remember something? No, but... I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah. But you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenigus once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me.
funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me, either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenegas? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenegas who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenegas. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Where'd Xion go? How could she just go off on her own? Xion. Uh. Xion! <laughs> Thorns? But why? <laughs> you okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? <laughs> Stay out of my way. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me!
Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Rolron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. Tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan? But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Xion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to... It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus. When the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorns' power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. And that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renis Alma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... too much. It's way too much. When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. Shion. Elfin? Uh. Only living for the sake of dying. 
is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Alvin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No. You won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenegas and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Xion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys, you're all so stubborn. Thank you, everyone. For right now, and a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. On to Lenicus. believe, isn't it? I believe Xion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes. I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Xion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands, so many clues, yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in, then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the Wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Or well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, 
They contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. Can you blame me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. How are you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I'm being serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on, and you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her. Just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. The ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I have my own dreams, but a world without her, where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Agreed. It's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Did you know? You mean about Xion? Yeah, I didn't have the slightest idea. I mean, every once in a while I thought something seemed a little off, but I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me and I couldn't even see it. You and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? That's what I thought. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah, you're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her. No matter what. Yeah, with all of us together, there's nothing we can't handle. Shion, the world, we can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey, you're the expert on what my dad would say. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr, I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Xion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point. But I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is.
can't sleep. After everything we just heard? How could I? Fair enough. Xion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? I'm sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xion's able to do that one day too. No, I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell. Hey, you doing all right? <laughs> I seem to cause nothing but worry. As much as I try to look like I have things under control, everyone still worries about me. You're not the only one. Hey. Do you remember the first time you said I was your friend? Uh, no. When was that? Sorry, I can't remember. That's okay. It came so naturally to you, I'm not surprised you forgot. I was different back then. The Danans were not even people to me. And I knew I would always be alone. But in that room with Deadheim, when you called me your friend, it just shattered the wall that I'd built up around me. Because until that moment, I'd only seen you as a means to an end. I thought of you as a way to use the Blazing Sword and to obtain the Renis Alma. <laughs> but after that day, one time became two. And before I knew it, you'd made a habit of calling me and Dohalim your friends. It didn't matter that we were Renans. You cared about us as you would any other people. Then, everyone else started to call me their friend too. To think of me as their friend. Before then, I never even dreamed I could have that. I didn't want to die and lose you all. But I also didn't want to live if it meant you would all die in my place. Shion. But then, I realized... I'd only really been thinking of myself that entire time. After saying how I felt... ...and hearing what you all had to say... ...I finally understood that. <sighs> Don't worry, it's okay. I'm not planning on dying anymore. I've met too many people along the way who I truly care about to give in now. So I'll fight. For Dana and for myself. I'll fight against my fate to preserve our future. And I'll win, come hell or high water. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I won't let the world end because of me. 
It's going to be a long, hard road ahead, Shion. Our fight won't be over until everyone, both Danans and Renans, can finally live in peace. But I swear I'll be there with you until the very end. Thank you. Remember what we learned back in Calaglia? There's no wall so high that we can't break it down. Yeah. I think you may be right about that. Everyone well rested? Then let's go. We depart for Lenegas.